Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Kenner Aini and I want to read a novel autumn in Paris Love comes in different ways It doesn't matter who, where, or why That is what happened to a girl of Indonesian French, Tara Dupont This girl who works as a radio announcer has a thesis that is very difficult to get rid of, namely curiosity This trait is what finally brought Tara to find her love. Her father, Jean Daniel Dupont, was a wealthy businessman in French, while his mother is Indonesian. They divorced on good terms a few years ago. Luckily, there is someone who can fill her days. He is Sebastian Gerdio, her adopted brother. They both have the same fate. He considered Tara like his sister, like was Tara felt. Tara's love story started with Sebastian's dinner invitation. Tara met a young Japanese architect, Tatsuya Fujisawa, who collaborated with Sebastian on a job. Handsome and friendly man, so it was Tara's first impression of Tatsuya. Since that dinner, Tara and Tatsuya often went out together, starting from visiting museums, seeing the city of Paris, from a hate to having dinner together. The trip summed up nicely by Tatsuya and sent via a radio program at Tara's place of work. Story after story flowed smoothly from funny to sad stories. Monsieur Fujitatsu, that is how he became known to radio enthusiasts. Tara Dupont is Tatsuya's hidden destination to French. Love autumns doesn't like waiting but is often late are the few things he knows about Tara. To the extent that, in his story on a radio program, he mentioned Tara as autumn girl. His when out there are increasingly curious about which autumn girl makes a romantic guy like Tatsuya fall in love. As time went by, Tatsuya thought the reason why he went to French, other than to work, of course. As it turned out, Tatsuya Fujisawa wanted to meet his father's first love and hand over a letter from his mother before dying to that person. From his mother's old letter, it was said that Tatsuya was his mother's biological child with a mercier. His mother, Sanayi Nakata, became pregnant when his biological father returned to French after a short vacation in Japan. Now, Tatsuya has a foster father who is very fond of him in Japan, Kenichi Fujisawa. Tatsuya also met his real father, Le Mercier, unexpectedly, Le Mercier is very kind and accepting himself. Le Mercier also thought that he had a daughter named Victoria. Then, the painful meeting took place. When Tatsuya, Tara, and their friends were visiting Tara's father's pub, unexpectedly, it turns out that he met Le Mercier or Mr. Dupont there. Tara calls Mr. Dupont Papa and introduced to her friends that Mr. Dupont is her father. Likewise, with Mr. Dupont, he introduced Tara by her first name, Victoria. Upon seeing Tatsuya, the new Dupont immediately questioned Tara's feeling towards Tatsuya. He saw the joy in her daughter and it was true. Tara liked Tatsuya Fujisawa and that should not be the case. Several days after that, Tatsuya was the light of his life. He became a workaholic and became increasingly difficult to find. He is too afraid to face reality and has to throw his feelings away. Until finally, Tatsuya submitted a DNA test as his last hope to Mr. Dupont to confirm that he was not his son. Hope was lost. He was the son of Jean Daniel Mercier, Tara's father. Gradually, Tara found out too that she and Tatsuya were brothers from one father. Her feelings were unstoppable, all fear, disappointment, and anxiety filling his brain. Her love for Tatsuya had now become a mistake. It also made Tara think of the jumping of the same river. Tara tried to understand the current state that Suya was her brother. She tried to accept this painful fate with his uncertain circumstances and feelings that Suya returned to Japan. 
that we are hoping in this way he and Tara completes everything stabilized the situation. Several months later, Tatsuya parents in Japan gave bad news for Tara and her father. Tatsuya had an accident at the construction site and is now in a coma. Tatsuya's adoptive father believed that Tatsuya was waiting for Tara and Jin Daniel Mercier. Arriving in Japan, Tara immediately visited Tatsuya at the hospital. Tara decided not to enter the treatment room feeling that she would not be able to see Tatsuya's condition. With the information provided by Tatsuya's friend, Tara visited Tatsuya's apartment. In the apartment, it was as if she could see the personality and life of her older brother, Tatsuya. She also found several photos of herself. By accident, Tara touched the laptop on the table. She was shocked and started to shed tears. As it turned out, until now, Tatsuya had kept in touch with Sebastian and asked about Tara's news via email. Tara looked at Tatsuya's last email for Sebastian. Tara returned to the hospital where things got more and more uncertain. Tatsuya was not awake yet. Tara entered the treatment room and saw the tube that connected Tatsuya's body to the medical equipment. She grabbed Tatsuya's hand and said everything that was on her mind. Tara also shared her feelings for Tatsuya. When Tara said a sentence full of meaning, at that moment, Tatsuya left. She could only see from afar as Tatsuya's body was surrounded by doctors and nurses. Tara is full of meaning. I will always love you. Fujisawa Tatsuya had no life and would not return. Tatsuya had taught Tara a lot about pain, reality, and love. Tara remembered again that last email from Tatsuya to Sebastian. As long as he's happy, I will be happy too. As simple as that. And yeah, the story was end. Okay. Thank you for your attention, guys.